Hi, welcome and welcome back to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. So you've clicked on this because you'd like to see what impact caffeine has on insulin sensitivity because maybe you're diabetic or you're simply concerned for one reason or another. That's exactly what we'll cover, showing you actual scientific data from a study, then describing some potential physiological mechanisms for why the data reports as it does. Without further ado, let's jump in. Learn Your Body, a science-based education. The information provided comes from a study that I will have linked for you, as well as my notes and any amendments. The researchers of this study recruited 11 women and men, then infused a moderate amount of caffeine into their bloodstream and measured their blood sugar levels in response to insulin. As a brief background, when your blood glucose, also known as blood sugar, levels get high, your pancreas releases insulin, which effectively binds the cells of your body, which prompts them to take up glucose from the bloodstream. The less insulin needed to clear a set amount of glucose from the bloodstream, the more insulin sensitive you are, meaning your cells have a robust response to lower insulin, typically seen as a good thing. So. When the researchers infused caffeine, they wanted to clamp or maintain the blood glucose levels at a set amount, then added insulin to the bloodstream as well as their own glucose. If the glucose infusion rate increases, yet blood glucose stays stable at a set insulin amount, this means the person is more insulin sensitive. Clearly, based on the data, the group of participants that received caffeine had a lower glucose infusion rate, implying insulin insensitivity. Okay, but why? Two possible mechanisms were offered. One, that caffeine stimulates the release of epinephrine from the adrenal glands atop the kidneys, and epinephrine reduces glucose uptake by the cells, while also stimulating the liver to produce more glucose to dump into the bloodstream. Both of these situations might raise blood glucose levels. However, caffeine also acts on adenosine receptors of the cells. Adenosine, a molecule that is a product of metabolism over the day, is known to bind its receptors and increase insulin sensitivity. However, since caffeine can also bind the receptor, it may inhibit adenosine's mechanism of action, thereby inhibiting its insulin sensitizing effect. Neither of these hypotheses are tested in the study, but they are plausible explanations. So the takeaway here is that caffeine, at least in the short term, might decrease insulin sensitivity by a sizable amount, about 15%, which is a real world effect. Does this mean you need to avoid caffeine? No. Not necessarily, it may not play a factor in your life. And keep in mind that this is caffeine in isolation, not caffeine in coffee or tea or some other vehicle, which holds other ingredients, which may offset this effect. At any rate, remember the context, think of it for yourself. And with that, I hope that this was informative and I hope to have the absolute pleasure as usual to speak with you in the near future. Bye.